Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. It's only been a few weeks since Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, shocked the world by announcing they were essentially quitting the British royal family. Royal followers wondered first if that was even allowed. Next, they pondered the practicalities of what their split would mean for the royal dynasty. And finally, fans were left with just one question. Would Harry and Meghan ever consider coming back? We have to assume that the Duke and Duchess thought long and hard about leaving before making the unprecedented choice to do so. Still, people change their minds all the time. One thing almost everyone agrees on. The press would positively eviscerate this royal couple if they ever rejoined the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will reassess their decision in one year. Harry and Meghan made it quite clear that they saw the split as permanent. But Queen Elizabeth was not so hasty to cut them out permanently. During a statement following their announcement, Her Majesty seemed to leave the door open for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to come back in one year. Harry and Meghan's choice of independence seems completely clear at the moment, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams explained to Insider. However, no one can predict the future with any certainty, and the Queen, having released a statement after the Sandringham summit confirming that they will not use their royal titles and will step down from royal duties, but remain members of the royal family, wisely allowed for a reassessment of the situation after a year. The media may be the reason they never return. There's more than one thing that forced Prince Harry and Meghan to leave the royal family. However, the biggest culprit is the stress that media attention put on their lives, plus unfair treatment in the press. The couple even went as far as suing certain publications. And if they come back, things are all but guaranteed to go from bad to worse. If Harry and Meghan did decide to return, the royal family would certainly welcome them back with open arms, royal expert Marlene Kearney told Insider. But the media would be without mercy, she continued. I would expect comments about tales between their legs. Something major would have to happen to bring Harry and Meghan back. Prince Harry wasn't thrilled with the media before Meghan came along. And after, he began to truly despise them. It would take a major event to make him change his mind about becoming a private citizen, therefore shielding himself and his family from the royal rota, the system which allows certain photographers to attend all royal events. Fans predict that Harry would rejoin the royal family if he and Meghan ever got divorced. However, based on how much he's willing to sacrifice to ensure his wife's happiness, this seems like an unlikely conclusion. The only way the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might consider returning to the royal life otherwise is if they had some kind of guarantee that they'd receive fair treatment going forward. Unfortunately, that's not ever going to happen. Another analysis. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry are already settling into their new lives in Canada. Despite the uproar that their desire to step down from their positions as senior royals caused initially, the royals appear happy with their decision. But as more information comes from Buckingham Palace about how this change will go into effect, it seems that their break from royal duties might not be permanent. Megxit Earlier this year, Meghan and Harry announced that they wanted to step back from being senior royals. They wanted to continue representing the Queen, but desired to be financially independent. Unfortunately, this request was easier said than done. The Queen eventually determined that there was no way for the Sussexes to still represent the royal family, but be financially independent. So they were stripped of their working royals' position. As agreed in this new arrangement, they understand that they are required to step back from royal duties, including official military appointments, Buckingham Palace said in a statement. They will no longer receive public funds for royal duties. 
New details of Megxit. Though Prince Harry and Meghan have been largely out of the limelight and living a relatively quiet life in Canada since the Queen came to her decision, none of the changes have actually gone into effect yet. According to a spokesperson for the pair, the stipulations of the new agreement don't go into effect until March 31st. On April 1st, the Sussexes will no longer have an office at Buckingham Palace. The Duke and Duchess will be spending their time in both the United Kingdom and North America. In addition to continuing to work closely with their existing patronages as they build a plan for engagements in the UK and the Commonwealth throughout the year, the Duke and Duchess have also been undertaking meetings as part of their ongoing work to establish a new non-profit organization. The details of this new organization will be shared later in the year. Are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still royal? One of the biggest questions that people have had is whether or not Prince Harry and Meghan are still royal. We definitely are. The two will keep their HRH styling, but will not actively use the titles. They will also continue to be known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the Earl and Countess of Dumbarton, and the Baron and Baroness Kilkeel. As the Duke and Duchess are stepping back as senior members of the royal family and will work towards financial independence, use of the words royals, in this context, needed to be reviewed. Discussions are still ongoing, however, a change will be announced alongside the launch of their new nonprofit organization, the spokesperson continued. Could Mexit be reversed? As this is the first time that a royal has transitioned like this, it is just a trial run. And the stipulations will be reviewed next year. As there is no precedent for this new model of working and eventual financial independence, the royal family and the Sussexes have agreed to an initial 12-month review to ensure the arrangement works for all parties, the spokesperson said. In other news, Prince Harry could become an American or Canadian citizen now that he is no longer a working royal. When Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry decided that life as senior members of the British royal family was no longer going to work for them, they didn't simply snap their figures and change their whole lives. Instead, Prince Harry went into long in-depth discussions with his family about the life that he envisions for himself, Markle, and their infant son, Archie Harrison. Well, Buckingham Palace has announced that the Sussexes will officially be non-working royals as of April 1st, the logistics are already a headache. From citizenships to tax information, and even figuring out how they will be financially independent without the use of their brand name, Sussex Royal. There is a lot to figure out. This also opens up questions about Prince Harry's citizenship. Meghan Markle never became a UK citizen. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, applied for British citizenship when she and the Duke first became engaged in late 2017. However, that was never finalized. Meghan is not yet a British citizen, an insider told LMT Channel. It might seem extraordinary, given that she's been married to the Queen's grandson for 18 months, but she accepts that it's a slow process. Now it appears that Duchess didn't push because knew that being in the UK full-time was ever going to work for her. In November 2019, an insider told LMT Channel, there is an acceptance that things haven't worked out with the Sussexes full-time in Windsor, so they could have a second base in America. Now that the duo is splitting their time between the UK and North America, it might not be necessary for the Duchess to take on UK citizenship. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage is a financial nightmare. Though they have a combined net worth of $30 million, and they are hoping to make more with Mexit. The Sussexes' taxes are only going to get more complicated. Markle is still a US citizen, so she pays us taxes. Prince Harry already pays the UK taxes on the $13 million and $9 million inheritances 
he received from his late mother, Princess Diana, and the Queen Mother, respectively. However, he could be required to give the us a chunk as well. Likewise, the yearly allowance he receives from Queen Elizabeth II and his father, Prince Charles, is likely to be taxed. The Sussexes have hired us tax experts to help them sort this mess out. Now that they are living on Vancouver Island, Canada might want to be in on the tax action too. Prince Harry will never be us citizen. It looks like Markle will retain her us citizenship. Prince Harry will retain his UK citizenship, with baby Archie having dual citizenship. However, Prince Harry will be changing his status in one major way. Prince Harry will likely become a resident of Canada and a non-resident domiciliary of the United Kingdom. International tax planning lawyer, Diane Nehany told LMT Channel. At which point he would pay less tax in the UK and he would remit residence-based tax to Canada first. Nehany also revealed that it's unlikely the couple will live in the United States for an extended period of time. She explained, The real tricky thing is to make sure they don't spend too much time in the United States so that Harry becomes a resident of the United States, at which point his entire worldwide wealth would become subject to U.S. taxation, which I know they want to avoid. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos, Thank you. Don't stop.